Hello you guys, welcome back. So if you're new here, my name's Janice. I love making reviews on all sorts of different clothing. Just for reference, I'm 5'9". I'm usually a size medium. So if you wanna just compare body types to know what size you should order. So today I'm gonna to review something that has been on my wish list for years. I'm sure if you're watching this video, it's probably on your wish list. Um, I, I'll just preface this by saying this was a birthday gift for my boyfriend. Um, this was totally unexpected. I was actually crying when he got this for me. Um, I'm just the type of person, I, I feel really awkward when people give me gifts. Like I feel like, especially if it's something expensive that I want, I wanna work hard and get it myself. I just feel very awkward about getting gifts. I'm not one of those people that likes my birthday and has a big party and makes it all about me. Like that's just not who I am. So this was very unexpected. I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed to have everything that I have. So I just wanna make this video though, because if you live in Canada or maybe the States or other places, you need to listen to this insane deal we got when we were on holidays. So recently we went to Milan just for like four days, three or four days, and I've actually never been to Italy before, so I can't really compare this to the prices in other parts of Italy, but um, definitely I really like Milan. I'll just insert this real quick. Um, yeah, it kind of gave me Paris vibes in how it looked. I feel like probably other parts of Italy look a lot different, but it seemed a little bit more like chilled, relaxed, which I liked. Um, definitely the people were very nice. Um, definitely if you don't love shopping, I don't really know why you would go there, but I do love shopping. Although I am uh, wasn't really like in the market to buy anything, I don't really need anything. I mean, there's lots of things I like to go look at, but I don't really need anything. So my boyfriend kind of gets mad at me because any store that we've ever passed on holiday that has like Max Mara coats or the Max Mara store itself, I have to go in, I have to go look at this coat and I always check the price and it's usually not too much of a better deal anywhere else. So he was like, no, he's like, I just have to get this for you. And this deal is too crazy to give up. So the coat that I'm talking about is the Max Mara, the teddy bear, the icon coat. So I'll put a picture of it up here. So I actually just jotted down what we ended up paying for it. So in Canada, you guys, I don't know where you live, if it's a different price. In Canada, at the Max Mara store and on Essence, I checked both of these this morning, it retails for, in Canadian dollars, $4,290 plus our 13% tax, which is another almost $560. So the grand total of this code when you live in Canada is $4,847.70. To me, that is insane. This coat is beautiful, but it's not worth that much. Like in my opinion, no coat is worth $5,000. Like even if I had a lot of money, that is, that's a lot of money to drop on a coat, okay? So I was always like, you know, maybe one day, one day, if it goes on sale, Essence usually has sales November, December-ish. So if you do really like this coat and you can't travel, definitely check out Essence. So in Milan and I don't know if it's priced this way because this brand is made in Italy but it retailed for 16.50 euro plus you get 14% tax back approximately in the airport and they just refund it right onto your credit card when you show the receipt in your passport so that took off another 217 euro so we ended up paying 1433 euro which as of this morning I just did the exchange rate conversion so that totaled $2,074.39 Canadian. So we saved, I'll put the grand total up here, $2,773.31. It was literally worth it to fly there to get the coat. That is insane. So that just proves my point that this coat is not worth $5,000 because the Max Mara store can sell it for that price and still make a killing off of it. So I will just tell you guys, if you know anyone going to Italy, I'm not sure if it's priced like that in other places in Europe. Um, I think it's pretty, I think it's still pretty expensive in London when I checked, I could be wrong. But yeah, if you know anyone going to Italy, 
and you like this coat, tell them to buy it for you and just like e-transfer them because that is insane, you guys. Like you could buy two coats, more than two coats for the price of one here. So if you like two colors, right, you might as well go there, get a holiday out of it. It's insane. So after my little rant about the price, I'll just go over the sizing and the fit and everything. So this is an extremely oversized coat. It only comes in sizes small, medium, and large. Just so you know, I got size small and it's very oversized on me. So if you are my size or anywhere smaller, you need size small. So if you're purchasing it online and you don't have the opportunity to try it on in store, get size small. So personally, I feel like on my height, it looks good. I don't know. I think if you're a very petite, short woman, I don't know if this coat would work for you, to be honest. I've seen it, um, you know, I've researched this coat a lot. So when I see other women try it on in shopping vlogs, a lot of the time they're like, no, it's too oversized. It doesn't work for me because I am bigger. I think um, my height, you know, I can pull the coat off. So I tried on size medium just to see how much bigger it was. The size medium was like ridiculously oversized. I'm not sure. I should have filmed in the store because the Max Mara store was absolutely amazing. It had like every color, every size in stock. That's the thing here because it is so oversized. A lot of the time you'll go to like Holt Renfrew, Max Mara. They only have like a size large or medium on the rack and it's too big for a lot of women. The upside of this, if you are plus size or... Um, you know, have a very large chest or a large frame, I mean, this coat will definitely fit you. Also, something great that I thought about, if you happen to be pregnant in the winter, a lot of women, you know, winter coats are very expensive and they have to buy those like extenders that fit inside the zippers. This coat will fit you, even I would think if you're like nine months pregnant. So that's something to keep in mind too. So the coat is made of 62% alpaca, 26% virgin wool and 12% silk. So it is a really nice blend. My mom has told me for years, like for the winter, she's like, get alpaca socks. They keep your feet so warm. This, you guys, it will keep you so warm. When you put it on, it almost feels like a weighted blanket. It feels like you're being hugged. Like it's very comforting. Like I don't know how to describe it. Like it just feels so nice. There's like a nice um, satin lining. Oh my God, it just feels like heaven. You could just almost sleep in it. It feels like a big comforter. So I can tell you, like, it will be very, very warm. Um, yeah, it's double-breasted. Oh, what I will say, um, when we were leaving the store, the lady was like, oh, do you want a hanger? And I said, yeah, yeah, sure. She forgot to put it in the bag. And just how it is cut, it's kind of like cut wide like this. When I got it home and I put it on a wooden hanger, it just fell off. It's too slippery. So I have like a Danier hanger that's a little bit of like texture on the shoulders that I hung it up on. So if they do offer you a hanger or just ask at the store, I'm thinking like maybe if I take my receipt, I could go to the Max Mara store here. Maybe they'll be nice and give me a hanger or I could get one from Holt Renfrew because I don't have too many um, like coat hangers. Um, something else though, I'm kind of glad that did happen because it made me think of something. Say if you go somewhere and you're going to coat check, I don't know if I would because probably they're not going to have like a big nice hanger like that and this might slide off. You don't want this going on the floor. Also, this is a coat that a lot of women would like. I I don't know. I just don't trust people. So yeah, maybe just keep it at your table. Just something to keep in mind. I mean, maybe that's me being super paranoid. I think I would be more concerned with it falling on the floor actually than someone taking it. but. You never know. I mean, that has happened to me years ago, not with an expensive coat, but I don't know if it was a mistake or not, but after, you know, your night out and you find out your coat is missing, that's not cool. One more thing I should say, color-wise, I thought I always wanted like the nice, like the iconic camel color. I got like the light beige one. I actually like in order of the ones I liked, I tried on every color, even like the bright new colors. So this one was number one. The man at the store, my boyfriend agreed, definitely this one. Then I liked the white one on myself, then the camel color. And to be honest, I didn't try on the black, um, but I tried on the colorful, like the turquoise and there's like a pinky orange one. I didn't really like those on me. I think if I maybe had like darker skin, um, that would look good. But yeah, definitely by far, this one was my favorite.
So here you guys go. Now keep in mind this is a small, so you can see what I mean. Like it's super oversized. So definitely keep that in mind. If you're petite, this might not work for you because I'm 5'9". So yeah, I just, I was doing a Zara haul, so I just tried this on. Um, the back is kind of supposed to be draped like that, but I think it looks beautiful and it's so cozy warm. Um, it's double breasted. I'll show you with it closed in a second. So there the coat is closed. So it has a hidden button on the inside. So yeah, it's super big, but I love it. It just feels so comfy. It's just, I'm really hot already with it being on in here. But you can see, like, look how far out it goes. Like, if you were pregnant, you could definitely wear this. It has, like, a nice satin lining. Sorry about the lighting in here. It's a gloomy day, as always. So there's the back, you guys. You can tell it's really big. Here I just have it paired with a dress, so it's definitely long enough for a long dress. It's going to keep you nice and warm in the winter. Oh my god, it's so cuddly, you guys. And here it is just down, you guys. I almost like this, like just with some Yeezys, um, have like Wolford black tights on. Yeah, and oh my god, you need this shirt. It's um, in my Aritzia haul video. It's like that black Thermalux shirt. I've worn it so many times. Yeah, so if you think this coat is not one that can be dressed down, I disagree. I actually almost like it better like this. Yeah, it will look good with like a little crossbody bag you could wear on the inside or like a waist bag. Yeah, I like it. So this is the dust bag that they give you, you guys. Um, like I said, make sure you get the hanger because when I got home and I realized the hanger wasn't in the bag, it slides off the wooden hangers and you don't want that to happen to this beautiful coat. So make sure you ask for a hanger. Also too, I thought of something. I was gonna put this in like, I have a bigger black garment bag, but it was kind of like that rough canvasy type material and I didn't want it to pull the fabric at all. So I would just suggest keep it in this. That's what they give you. And it's nice, it's a white color. So it's not gonna transfer a dark color onto the coat if you get one of the lighter colors. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, I just hope you liked that little tip. If you happen to be traveling or a friend or family member, is going to Italy, definitely get them to check it out. I wanted to say too, if you're interested in purses, so I'll insert a picture here if I can find it. This Chanel purse, I did the math too. It would have saved me $1,151 to buy it in Italy. And also the Barreto fragrances that I really like, per bottle, it would save $131. So um, there were some stuff there that I would say it was the same price point. So for example, I wanted a pair of Chanel running shoes if they were a good price and they were about the same price as here. So I feel like you really need to know your prices before you travel. Definitely um, write down all the prices like with tax included into it, how much everything is and then just keep a little list in your phone then you can do the comparison. Um, yeah, so just like a little pro shopping tip. And yeah, so until next time, Bye.